Hi guys, today another empties video and I will get right started because I don't want it to be too long. <laughs> so let's start with my first empties. Um, I emptied um, the foundation up. This was not the Lacroix foundation in there anymore. It was my mix of um, some Clinique foundation samples and George Asta foundation, which I actually really enjoyed using. But this one is um, completely empty now. I don't know. I think here you can see a bit. Um, but yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. But I can't really say much about the foundations on itself because it was a foundation mix. And this one will go now in the bin. But it was a good container to clean out and actually use it for all these sample packages. Much nicer with a pump. Then the next empty is the um, Mineral Magic Powder. This one was the one I got from Amazon. I'm just so glad that this one is gone. I did not like it. I hated it. If you have seen my other videos and I'm, um, um, yeah, it's gone. It's in the bin. Definitely would not repurchase. The next empty is also what I added just last time um, into my project pen, which is the BB Cream Golden Glow. I didn't find it was really BB Cream. It was more like a golden cream, um, which I wouldn't really put on my face. So I used it up on my legs. It was a 10 mil size and I could use it um, three times on complete both of my legs which was really nice it gave a really good coverage did not like the smell so much um, but it's not really a product yeah I would put on the face because it had a, quite a golden glow to it so more like a body product for my opinion but yeah I used it up next empty is the mascara this one was the Duke Duce um, Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. I did really enjoy this one I think it's the third time I had this one as a sample size now it, it dried quite out um, quite quickly out in the end, um, but it, I actually really enjoyed this mascara, so that was good. I then started to use this mascara, Sport FX. Um, I don't actually know, is this a brand, Sport FX? I don't know. Absolutely hated this one. This one was a really odd one, because um, it, I, th I think it was waterproof. I had really issues removing it um, from my eyelashes at the end of the day, but despite that, it would smudge under my eyes during the day which was really annoying so after two weeks of using this one I actually gave up on it and um, decided to chuck it it was just not a nice mascara to use then finally also I emptied my Claudia Schiffer eyebrow styler this one lasted for way over a year it wasn't my most favorite one if you've seen my other videos and um, because it was very waxy and hard but um, it did the job for me because I don't really do much with my eyebrows. And considering how long it lasted, that's actually quite good value for money. And the last thing um, I emptied is the Essence Moonlighter Cushion. Um, this was like a highlighter, but in cushion foundation format. Um, I used it under my foundation to give a bit of an extra glow to my face, which I quite like doing for that. And yeah. I emptied it up. So I had to, by the way, the cushion, I turned it around a few times. I really can recommend that because there's a lot of product underneath otherwise and you think it's nearly empty. But actually when you turn around the cushion, there's quite a bit of product left. I enjoyed it for that, but it's not really a product I would buy. I just find it a bit odd um, having a cushion highlighter like this as a fluid one. Then progress products. Um, after I emptied up all the other um, foundations and powders, I started using the Lacura CC. This is also from Aldi, a color correction cream. It's quite a high pigmented foundation. It can give you actually full coverage if you use it with a sponge, which is really surprising. And last time we were here when it was settled and now we are down here. Um, progress quite surprised me so much, but saying that I think the top bit of the tube is a bit slimmer and there's less product, so I think it will take longer for the bottom bit. But yeah, i um, happy to use it at the moment. It's quite a thick CC cream, um, but it's quite a good match for me at the moment and I enjoy using it. Then next thing I started to use now is the um, powder from Poundland um, as a finishing powder. And I don't know if you can see, there's a dip in it now. To be honest, next update I expect already to hit pan on it because I remember when I used them, I used them roughly two years ago solely and I had I, I went through them quite quickly all the time so I think um, I will hit pan on it by next update but let's see then also my primer which I really enjoy by the way I don't use it every day but I use it a few times and um, this is the maculage primer and um, the traumatic skin sensor base UV 
I use it mostly on sunny days because it has an SPF of 25 and last time we were here and now we are down here. So very happy with the progress and it's a product I really enjoy using and I don't want to get um, that it gets in, that it's getting bad or would be off and not be able to use it anymore. That was the Sailor Moon Special Edition by the way, which is why it has such a pretty cap. But yeah, really enjoy this one. Then, oh lipstick, I need this one actually. This is the um, Anna Sui lipstick. This one is the one with the pretty stars on the side. I didn't use it that often, but I used it a few times. So in the end, there we are. We were up here last time, now we are down here. And next product, I actually thought I would have finished it by now. This is literally all that's left. That's my Kiko Milano eye pencil. Um, in the color 01. I don't know if it has another name or something. It doesn't really say. Last time we were up here. Now we are down here. And this is literally all that's left and what I need to use up now. So next update I expect this one definitely to be empty. I also used a few times but you can't really see progress. My This one was a massive highlighter um, pan I repressed last year, a mix of loads of different highlighters and I used it on my legs on the last few sunny days we had recently and the dome is definitely getting smaller, it's definitely getting used but uh, it will take a while to hit pan on it, it's a massive, I mean this pan can hold 11.5 gram and I even when I repressed it I was even way over the pan I don't know if you can see there we go I'm actually, it's like domed, so it will take a long time. I guess this is at least 20 grams in there, so it will take a while to actually use that up. But I, I do really like it as a body highlighter. Um, the other repressed highlighter I had in here, I only used once or twice, so not much progress on that one. But I'm leaving it in my project pan. Um, same thing actually, okay progress in my eyes, um, was the e.l.f eyeshadow in Ain't That Sweet, which I use in, as an eye primer. Didn't use it every single day this month, only a couple of times, but um, I definitely can see it going down now, so very happy with that. And the other product I just um, added last time is the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. And I see in the blush, I can definitely see it's going down now. So let's see, a few more months and I will probably hit pan on that. They are more like glorified eyeshadows, to be honest. I, I'm happy I have them and I'm happy I'm using them, but I'm also happy I'm using them up now. So it's it's a nice blush, but yeah. Actually, when I see this packaging, I really need to clean my makeup. I did not use at all my George Asta setting powder, so no progress at all. Can't really say what the progress on the um, E. Flom concealer is. It's a really good match for me at the moment, but I don't use it every single day. So I can't see how much there is left in there, but I'm using it. And last thing I should probably do is adding a new mascara. I added that one actually already last week when I really gave up with the Sport FX one. This is the La Cura from Aldi to Legit Mascara. And to be honest, I'm not too keen on it at the moment. Um, it's all right, I will use it. It's definitely better than the Sport FX mascara, but it's not the best mascara I've ever used. Considering usually how happy I am with Aldi products, this one, I think it's supposed to be a copy um, of one of the Benefit mascaras, but no, I, it's it's not the best mascara I've ever had. It's usable though, and I will use it. So I will definitely use it up. But that's it for me today. So really happy with quite a few empties, um, which I'm really happy that I used up so much. And um, I will need to finish. Yeah, I'll probably have to f um, film my empties video fairly fairly soon. And let's see how the progress there goes as well. I think I have a lot of products this month I emptied. But that's it for me today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.